Hello, in this video, we will look at passing pointer arguments in a function call. We know there are two ways to pass an argument in C++, pass by value or pass by reference. You can now also use pass by value and pass by reference for pointer arguments. So let's look at this here. This P1 is a pointer, and this is passed by value. And this is a P2 is a pointer with this percent P2 is passed by value. So let's look at the uh, example here. So we are going to have this is uh, int n1, int n2. So this is a pass by value for two int variables. This is to pass by reference for two int variables. And this swap three is pass two pointers by value and this swap four is to pass two pointers by reference. In book swap one because is pass by value for two int variables. After the call, no change to num1 and num2. For swap two, it's passed by reference for two int variables. In swap two, you make the swap and after the call and the swap is effective. So this num1 and num2 are swapped after the call. And now we're going to invoke swap three is pass the uh, <coughs> pointer by value. What is value in the pointer? It's the reference value. So you pass that pointer there and this the uh, by value. So the pointer itself doesn't change, but the value pointed Look here, this value here. And this is this is the value pointed by pointer are swapped. So that effect is num1 and num2 are swapped. So for swap three. Now look at swap four. When you invoke swap four, and this is the pass by reference for P1 and P2. So P1 and P2 got swapped here. But underneath, num1 and num2 are not swapped. So here, so this is p1 and this is p2. So underneath here, and this num1 and num2 are not affected. So when you invoke swap four, you change p1 and p2, they are swapped, but not the value for num1 and num2. So this is the output. An array parameter in a function can always be replaced using a pointer parameter. For example, now this is array list. You can replace it using this B here. Array is a constant pointer. So this is a constant pointer. For C strings, this is a C string here. You don't have to pass the size. So for the array, you pass the size. For C strings, no size is passed because you can get the C string size using the, the string length function. So this is C string is a constant point for like because it's an array of characters. So now you use this const C string. So let's look at this example here. We're going to print this this is the uh, array. 
Now you can use the pointer here. So this is what we do here is const. So this is int. This is the one here. And that is for um, the, uh, the pointer. It's actually the same as array. So in the main, we have this array. You invoke print array list. So now here the list is a pointer. It's the same as array. That is all for this section. I'm passing pointer arguments in a function call. See you on the next video.